Tonight, we shook up the Senate. You shook up the Senate. From Colorado to Arkansas to North Carolina, a red wave has swept over the electoral map, with Republicans winning key races across the U.S. Increasing their majority in the House of Representatives and adding control of the Senate, they now have a firm grip on Congress. The size of the victory is impressive, given that Democrats had already sustained big losses in the first midterms of Barack Obama's presidency. His first midterm was so negative in 2010 that the Republicans had, if you will, picked up so many of what was already the low-hanging fruit and what were their opportunities out there that you didn't imagine that they could much expand the map um, beyond what they had already done. And yet, uh, they've done just that. Mitch McConnell is now set to lead the Republican majority in the Senate. Like many in his party, his campaign focused on the failings of President Obama's administration, a theme reflected in his victory speech. A government that can't be trusted to do the basic things because it's too busy focusing on things it shouldn't be focused on at all. While for some the election was a referendum on the president's policies, voters said the biggest issue for them is the economy, despite the fact that on paper at least there are signs of economic green shoots. I think there's a lot of fear about whether or not those sort of early uh, shoots are going to blossom into real leaves. We're starting to see that now, but I do think the Democrats were concerned that if they talked up the economy, uh, voters would basically say, what are you talking about? This isn't the reality. Republican excitement will be tempered by the knowledge that polls show strong disapproval for both parties. So ultimately the results may reflect more of a protest vote against incumbent Democrats than an endorsement of Republican policies.